What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4 here bringing us some Black Ops 1 gameplay. Hopefully guys you do enjoy it because um, you know I'm pretty sure most of you guys miss Black Ops 1 and how it used to be back in the day with no jumpy thingy, no extra suits, no nothing. It was just all straight up gunning. So um yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys are having flashbacks at this point. So anyways, Black Ops 1, what do I miss from this game? Oh man, I can name you a whole list and maybe even the whole game. I'm just going to circle the whole game and tell you I've just missed this freaking game. Uh, in Black Ops 1, it was actually the point where I started playing Call of Duty. I actually never started playing like in Modern Warfare 2 or Call of Duty 4 or World at War. I started playing Call of Duty in Black Ops 1. And let me tell you guys something. Before Black Ops 1 was released, I never played any FPS games. It was just sports games most of the time and racing games like Midnight Club, Need for Speed, uh, Madden, uh, NBA 2K. You know, it was just all those games, but no FPS games because I didn't like FPS games. But when I played Black Ops 1, it was just a total surprise because out of nowhere, I did good in the first few games. Games. I was getting like 30 kills, 25 kills, but with an incredible survival rate, like with just dying like five times or four times per game. And I was like, what the hell? How am I so good? I only played like for a few matches and I'm pretty good, you know. And, and these people have been playing like for the past three years, you know, Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty 4. And I told them with a the mic, I'll put on my Bluetooth back in the day and I'll tell them, hey, I've only been playing this game like for a few days and you've been playing this game like all your life and you're fucking. You know yelling at me and raging at me that like you had no right to do that so it was pretty funny back in the day i enjoyed whooping people's ass because i will make fun of fun of them about that you know they play the game for so long and i'm over here playing the game like for a month and i'm kicking ass and i never played an fps game before so yeah everything started for me in black ops 1 and another thing that i want you to guys know like to my new subs and to the new people watching my channel i used to be ranked in the top 15 in both domination and team deathmatch for a whole week and a half it was just an incredible experience how i did that it was like uh 70 kills per game play 90 kills per game play and it was it is total totally achievable you just need you know focus and strategies it's like all went into this game so I, did, I just did super good in this game. So now moving on to the actual topic. What do I miss from Black Ops 1? Uh, the weapons. The weapons. Galil, Famous, Og. Uh, the sniper sometimes depending on the situation. Because if you're too close to the enemy. You really can't shoot them. I don't know why. But there was this thing about the snipers in this game. That you really cannot shoot from super close. As you can see right now what just happened. I tried to quick scope the guy. You really just can't quick scope. It's not like Black Ops 2. Where you, you can just do that and kill the person in front of you. So as you can tell. Uh, quick scoping back in the day. It was nowhere to be found, and it was just easy kills for me. I never quizzed before, not even in Black Ops 1, and, um, you know, it was just easy kills for me. Because I understood that the, the snipers would usually point in a random part of your screen. Uh, so besides the weapons, uh, the AK-74U is my main weapon of the whole game. It was just incredible, taking out people from short range. It had the best damage, the best rapid fire because of the attachment that I had to it. I did add the rapid fire to the AK-74U and it was just total annihilation, total domination out there. It was just a killing spree of enemies. Like, oh, I'm just like, whoa, I'm just flowing through the whole goddamn map. Now moving on to the next thing I miss about Black Ops 1 has to be the maps. WMD, this one, this map right here with well done uh jungle uh what's another map um i can't name them all like array also array was another good map that was a good big, big ass open map like it had multiple paths to get to the opposite side like it like most of the time if you, you play black apps 2 black apps 2 only had like three pathways to go to the opposite side of the map so uh, in black and black ops 1 they used to have multiple paths like more than four or five paths to get to the opposite side and that's how most of the enemies won't even see you so you have like most of the time to um you know you have a lot of chances to flank the enemy and actually appear behind the enemy and it was just you know total surprises most of the time and i'll surprise them and kill all the campers with no problem so it was a great time back in black ops 1 uh, also another thing the kill streaks were well done the, the dogs and the chopper gunner i mean i never get out the chopper gunner i, I just Every single game, let me like eight out of ten games, I'll call in a chopper gunner. That's how good I was back in the day. I would average like around 50 to 60 kills per gameplay, and um, I would just call in the chopper gunner. It was just total annihilation. And I just felt bad for the enemy team, but I was like, you know what? They gotta step up the game because I only played this game like for one year, and I'm already doing good. So, so yeah, like it was just a total surprise how I went into this game. Um, another thing that I missed was the character creation. You can actually use to put, um, you know, custom face paint. Like you can use like the ghost face paint or skull face paint. It was just pretty cool to do back in the day. You couldn't change the clothes though, but you can change the face paint, and it was a good, um, a good change. You know, I like that, and and uh, it made my character kind of unique. So, 
another thing was the weapon camos they were well done also um i think that's about it you know weapon emblems were were uh introduced you know the emblems were introduced and it was pretty good cool to use as you can see you can see the little clown on my weapon that was my emblem from back in the day so that's it guys uh that's what i miss about black ops 1 i used to be super good back in the day and i'm trying to be super good now but you know the game has changed along the way so that's it guys if you guys want to see more call of duty make sure you subscribe for more